Milton Johns here of the Stern Look. This is the, the, the latest and greatest star of Coronation Street in recent years, playing Brendan Scott. Yes, he keeled over the counter this week in old Alf's, old fat Alf's shop there. Hey, fat so you're talking to me? Sorry, that was all. Oh, oh. Come over there, fat so. <laughs> yes, all you Charlie Lawson fans will know what we mean. Yes. Brendan Scott. Brendan, sorry, Milton, do you mind me calling you by your character name? Well, it was a job I had for a very short time, and now it's finished. So I'd rather you address me by my proper name, which is Milton Fluid. <laughs> Milton Fluid, oh, well, let's, let's not get sterile about this, but that's a pathetic, that's a pathetic <laughs> joke. <laughs> that's a pathetic joke, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, uh, Milton, Mil Milton. Oh, where, I mean, why on earth would it, would, I mean, let, 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 look at this, okay, now, a couple get married, they have a child, they have a son, why on earth would they call their son Milton? Well, actually, I was named after the poet, John Milton. Coronation Street, can you tell me, um, and now there's a new producer on the show at the moment, she's only been there for 12 months, Carolyn Reynolds, now, why is it you were, were you sacked or did you leave the show by choice? We couldn't come to an agreement over a contract. I wanted to stay in that shop, and I wanted to make Nicky Tilsley suffer. I wanted to get all the slave labour there I could, and I was also planning on having an affair with Emily Bishop. But unfortunately, we could not come to terms with my contract, and they wouldn't allow me to wear that silly brimmed hat anymore. It's so unfair. Now then, Weatherfield, Manchester. Weatherfield, the fictitious town in Manchester. Now, who on earth, I mean, come on, Milton, who on earth would open a bloody delicatessen in a back street in Manchester? I mean, oh, come on, be realistic. Why? I mean, a delicatessen in a back street in Manchester? I mean, th th surely there can't be enough customers to keep your business turning over. I think the business had great potential. And I thought the way that we dressed there, the old traditional methods, they're the best. And I think the old delivery bike... OK, eventually it accounted for my life. But I thought that it was a great idea. And I think personally that they should never have sacked me from Coronation Street. I'm the biggest cult hero there since Reg Holdsworth. And it's my best acting performance since Home to Roost. And Matthew changed the sign on my door. I had done Roman. He took Paul Dark and he turned it round and he called it old crap. And then I had to put up with John Thor's manic laugh in my face. I couldn't believe it. Phil, I'm off for a drink with Dexter nothing. All right. I must say, though, Milton, when I saw you last week in the show, uh, recently, I mean, when you sacked old uh, Tiki Nilsley himself, you know, the, the guy with the uh, four hours work, yeah, well, well, anyway, that's it. The thing is, I, I, I saw you there cycling away, Panting away over the old knackered old trike, going up the hill there, breathing your last, you know, working your way up to a cardiac arrest. I couldn't help thinking, there's this guy training here, that he is pushing himself to the limit. I, all of a sudden, what came to my mind was, what's missing here is the Rocky theme, the training sound. Da da da, da da da. I hate that fucking Tilsley anyway. <laughs> <laughs>